the mic down, down. Don't rap no more uh, yeah. Don't rap no more Say it. That's yeah. right, don't rap What's up, here's Image Magazine. We promised you an interview with Brentson, and we have Brentson on the line. How you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah, what's happening, what's happening? All is well, brother, what's up? Hey, not much, man. Just happy to talk to you, man. This is actually our first time talking to you. Um, so Word. definitely, we, we've been watching you for a long time. We've been supporting the movement, so it's definitely good to, to chop it up with you. Um, I know I saw you in... I saw you last year at Flavor Fest for the first time and introduced myself to you, so that's my first time actually seeing you in person. I'm not sure if you remember that. Uh, oh, man. Flavor Fest would be blurry if you so much going on. I probably, <laughs> I remember faces. So if I seen you, I remember you, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, I appreciate you giving me um opportunity to come on to the show, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's an honor, brother. I appreciate what you're doing, and, you know what I'm saying? It's just another platform for men and women of God to shed some light about their music, you know what I'm saying, and, and other things going on in the ministry, so, you know, you, you more needed than what you think, you know what I'm saying, so, I, you know, I appreciate all you guys are doing. Hey Amen, well, I appreciate you for saying that, man. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it, man. Like I said, this is our first time speaking with you, and I don't want to go back into the history too much because I know you're definitely a, a veteran in the game who's been in the music industry for a long time. But for the people who don't know, um, how did you actually get your start, man, in Christian hip hop? Um, I got my start from listening to a guy named Stephen Wiley. I believe he was the first Christian rapper with a, a distribution deal. And I got his music when I was very small. My mom went to like one of the local bookstores and got uh, got his CD. It was, I mean, uh, his cassette tape, and it was called Bible Break. And I memorized his his rap and wrapped it in church. And it was people were so astonished. Some people at some other churches called, and I'm at my grandma's church. I'm at other people's churches doing the same rap. So. That's right. initially how I got uh, introduced to it. So, Stephen Wiley, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a product of, uh, of, a, of a seed that he's on, you know what I'm saying? Him and, and countless other brothers, you know, Todd Payne, or Red Spice, you know, Cross Movement, cats like that. They really had a uh, big impact on me doing what I'm doing now. Wow, man, that's big, man. Did you actually... um? Did you grow up in the church? You know, since you had, your mother had got you that that CD. Oh yeah, you... yeah, yeah, man. You, we had to. It wasn't no not going to church on Sunday in my house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, grew up in the church, but I, I I was one of them knuckleheads who didn't stay in. You know what I'm saying? As soon as soon as I, I got on my own, it wasn't. It was a wrap. I'm like, I'll go, but I, you know, after I go to three clubs this week, I hit the church. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's how I was, you know what I'm saying? In some of the clubs, you know, they had some some metal uh, golden, uh, I don't want to call them poles, but that's what they was in them. But, you know, that's how it happened, you know. So, you know, it's just it's so many people like that. That's the reality of it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the BET Awards was on last night, and, man, it just hit me that so much there was so much secular, worldly, lustful stuff going on, and then, you know, you got the five minutes of church, but... In actuality, that's how people live, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. world, 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 praise God. Okay, back to what I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I was I was right there with them. Yep, yep, man, that's... That's big that you said that, man, because that is the reality of it. That's how people act, you know, those people who... You know, some people go to church once a year and go on Easter. <laughs> you know, they go that one day, yeah. get the word, and then they back doing everything that they used to do, you know, and... That man, that's that's true, man. So it, it makes sense. And I was joking on Twitter too um, about it yesterday too when they had did um who was it um they were singing and they were singing early and I was like man they trying to get us out the way. I think last time they waited to the <laughs> end, but they did it early. I said they trying to get us out the way quick <laughs> this time around. <laughs> but you know what? In in the same breath, I was I was thankful that some people were there representing Jesus and you know the name of Jesus. Did get shine, you know, even even though it was all that darkness going on, you know, people saying what whatever, you know, they they felt their flesh was gonna say. But it still was some people there shining like even if it was five minutes, you know what I'm saying, praise God. It, it could have been like a lot of the other award shows 
that the Lord don't, you know, there ain't nobody talking about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They talking about the next, you know, gay rights movement or something. You know what I'm saying? They talking about the pride day or something like that. But, you know, and in the same breath, praise God that somebody was on their ripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it only takes somebody to say one thing really to, you know, to spark a thought in somebody, you know, because I appreciate it when, you know, but Frankie Beverly, when he had said something, he had made his speech. Then you got Yolanda Adams who said her piece. So, but just people to speak up and people not to be silent. You know, don't be ashamed of, you know, our Lord and say, if you got something to say, you see an impact being made on our culture, please speak up and say it. So, I'm appreciative yeah. anytime somebody spoke up. So, definitely, Yolanda definitely Adams, that's what I know she's tall, boy. I'm like, I, I'm hating, dog, because I know she tall over me. I'm like, <laughs> Lord. Jesus, like, that's just a no. She was supposed to be dunking on somebody in the WNBA and besides singing. That's a no, she told. Jesus. Yeah. She could, she could be a stunt double for Lisa Leslie now. <laughs> she, could, she could step right in. <laughs> no. Hey, no. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. But back to this music, though, man. Definitely, um, I've, I've listened to your music before, man. Um, I've listened to your, your last project, OMG. I think we did a review on it last year. Not last year. Praise when it, it dropped, it was about two years ago when it dropped, right? Yes, yeah, it's two years old. It's two years old. That's why it's time for a new project. <laughs> man, what, what have you been doing, man, in between time? What's been going on with Brinson? Um, man, I really, man, the Lord has really been blessing me, man. I've been traveling all around. You know what I'm saying? Had a chance to go to Germany, the Czech Republic, uh, Amsterdam did some some concerts with uh, my homie K9. We was overseas and you know been just traveling, man. And even though OMG is is two years old now, like people are still you know hearing it for the first time, getting the introduction to the ministry and and the word the word being getting around about the concerts and the things. And God has really just kept me on the road, man. I mean for the past two months I, it's really died down because I've really been trying to concentrate on uh, my next project No Other Heroes that I can just put my all into it and I, I believe a lot of people going to be surprised when they hear it you know what I'm saying because uh, I believe this is my best uh, project to date lyric wise beat wise variety you know what I'm saying people just it, I think it's going to be different they're going to they gonna hear a whole different MC, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, um, I, you know, in between time, that's what's been going on, man. I, you know, I do, uh, do this full time. The Lord's blessed with that. It's, it's, it's not all glitz and glams like a lot of people say or think, you know, because I, I run into a lot of people. They're like, man, I can't wait to do this full time. I'm like, brother, you better count the cost. This ain't, you might have to go without sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You might have to. It's, it's a sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's why they call this stuff faith-based organizations. If you ain't got no faith, you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, I don't you know think people saying? realize like, how much, how much uh, of God is truly required. You know, when you talk about going into ministry four times, I think people, like you said, they only see the glitz and glamour side of it, and, going on and, road and, and doing these shows. The only thing, only thing glorious about it is the name of Jesus. That's it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Much. Like, it's out of all the Christian rappers we know who is really doing it on on a grand scale and you know what I'm saying and you know their financial situation is, is pretty good but that's not the majority that's a very small percentile of I mean dude Jacksonville where I, where I live at got around 900 churches and probably in every church they got a rapper so you know you do the math wow. and this is just one city so you know the, the thing about when I do you know people have that assumption of when they go full time that it's going to be the greatest thing ever and it's going to blow up and blah 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 and you know praise God for faith but you have to still count the cost you know what I'm saying so always caution brothers like I don't I don't tell them not to do it you know what I'm saying if, mm -hmm. if the Lord leading them to do it I'm like obey God bump what it look like obey the Lord but in, in the same sense as you obey make sure that you got a lot of natural stuff covered too. So. Hey man, I, hey, I hope they listening because you just gave them some good input right there, man. So I hope they listening. Oh yeah, you got to learn the business. You got to learn the ins and outs. Like a lot of 
it's it's so much that go into it, man. You know, uh, you got to know who, you got to have a good team, who to pay, who to get to mix your stuff. You got to find a company to do great artwork. You got to it's it's so much that go into it. You got to make sure you have no excuse music because uh, you will be compared to secular people, and you got to make sure what you put out can stand up. To whatever they putting out and, and be even better because you proclaiming the name of Jesus and people don't want to hear that they want to hear stuff about the club and lap dances and, and shooting cats and you know drug deals making it in the trap all that good stuff that ain't really good you know let me ask you this since you kind of brought that up what do you what is your what is your I guess perception right now of the Christian hip hop industry you know cause it's evolved it's changed a lot over the years and for a long time Christian music really lacked the same quality as the mainstream music and now it's kind of improved over time and it used to be a small number of Christian hip hop artists and now like you said there's one in like every rapper and like in every church in Jacksonville there's so many Christian hip hop artists now what do you feel about the, the state of Christian hip hop right now do you think it's at a good good space you think it's at a kind of Diminished because of so many artists, and maybe their motives are not in the right place. What did you think about the industry no, I right think, now? I think we're at a very great place. We at a pivotal point where we're going to see God raise up other people than all of the people that we've seen. Because um, just looking at it in a natural sense, a lot of record labels like Warner Brothers, um, Sony, BMG, all of, all of these. People have been paying attention to what uh, exists and reach and all those guys are doing. So they are going to be looking for who's the next Lecrae, who is the next Truth. So their eyes are open because they, they're they noticing that there is a market for, you know, Christian hip-hop. And, you know, the world only responds to when they see money. You know what I'm saying? So even in that sense, it's going to be... Uh, a shift in the net, you know, and uh, on a on a spiritual sense, you know, I, I think it's great because the more music about our Lord Jesus Christ going out, the more people are going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a big part of the Great Commission. You know, the more the more people hear, the more Christian concepts we got, the more people are going to, you know, get a chance to make a decision where they can follow Christ. Um, is it getting oversaturated? I don't know because, and apparently not because ain't too many Christian rappers on BET. Ain't too many of them on, on MTV. You, we, people can complain all they want to, but until you see uh, all, until you see a Branson on the award show, like, thank God I knew Jesus could do it, and then the next award given out is going to another Christian rapper. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's never enough uh digital missionaries going out trying to make a change in the world. I think we're at a great place. I mean, guys like D-Mob, b Wright, uh, K-9, Bizzle, Mouthpiece, um, all these guys are doing great exports, gifted the flame for Von Juan. You know, you got all these people who you never heard of, but they're doing great things. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the guy used to be signed up, uh, God Chasers named Big R. He, He's a pastor in Carolina. A uh, guy mm-hmm. who some people that never heard of named Renrock. He's been rapping since like 03. And he has a church in Vidalpa. So it's a lot of transitions from MCs to pastors. And they're still MCing, but they're making a change in their communities. They're making a difference. You know, it's it's not about all the people who we see on Rap Zilla or the South and Holy Culture. And, th- and, you know, thank God for those types because we need them. It's about these people who God got in the hedges and the highways who are really doing a great work cultivating the minds of their community and the youth coming up now. So I think we had a awesome place. Fancy question. We we had a great place because so much great things are happening through the, these men and women of God who has the gift to rap and produce and all that, and they're, and they're actually doing something, not just staying in their studio trying to make hits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. And there are, man, like I said, you named some, definitely some good artists that we have in the genre. And there are so many more. I'm just hoping that, you know, we do get that exposure, um, that proper exposure to really reach people, 
You know, it, it is so hard to get on that, you know, a, a BET stage or MTV platform. You, you don't really see it um, in our genre. And the sad thing is, if you were to, to show or ask somebody um, who is d you know, that's not a Christian, they probably have no idea. So it's about getting right. these artists in the faces of the people who have no knowledge. You know, a, a lot of Christians are definitely aware, but the unsaved people have no idea who a D-mob or a mouthpiece is. So, but yeah, I, I agree. We are definitely going in the, I mean, in the right direction. And, and that's the main reason why I'm I'm doing this campaign, this Indigo campaign, trying to raise fifty thousand dollars for this album because I know the importance of being in these media outlets you know what I'm saying like outside of online campaigning like being in real time in front of people you know what I'm saying that's that's really where it is we have enough technology and know how to get in front of the masses and present the message of Christ Jesus like never before yes sir Yes, sir. Man, well, let's get into this project, man. I know we're doing some good conversation right here, man, but I definitely want you to talk about your project and so the people can know what Brinson has going on. Um, the new project, No Other Heroes, have you set a date for it yet? Have I did what? Have you set a date for it yet, a release date? I, uh, I haven't. I wanted to release it in August. Um and I still might, but I want to give this project ample enough time to really promote it correctly. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, usually we, you know, the genre is, is still pretty small and, and, and you can touch a lot of people with just, you know, putting out an album and with three weeks notice and people get excited like, oh, yeah, yeah. But to correctly do it, you need at least three months to promote an album, you know? So I really want to give it some good time, you know, give it a great video. Uh, the single for it is going to be out next week. Um, and it got Jay on it. Um, so really, No Other Heroes is basically about encouraging and provoking the normal Christian to get up and do something. Because our, our hero is Jesus Christ. And he ain't coming to die again. You know, he did. He said it is finished on the cross. He died, came back, ascended into heaven. He had the right hand of the Father. So it's nobody else coming. So the only heroes people are going to see is the one that is the one that you give them. You know, so it's like, look in the mirror. What are you going to do? God gave you power to be a witness. Jesus then gave you. The, the Holy Spirit the indwelling you you know what I'm saying he's giving you these he's giving gifts unto men what are you going to do with these gifts how are you going to make a change in somebody's life so it's really one of them things like dude what are you doing you know because so many times in our genre and in church we get caught up in debates we debate about doctrine we debate about you know should we baptize in this name? Should we baptize in that name? Whatever the case may be, while we're debating, people are still on BP going to hell. You know, yep. and that's the reality of it. So it's like, let's stop the beating. Let's get up and do something. You know, so that's, in a nutshell, that's what the, the album in the whole is about. You know, so the, um, so the, none, the no other hero is essentially the man in the mirror. Exactly. Cool, cool. Okay. You know, man, anytime I like get people's albums, I always try to figure out what the concept is in my mind. And that one I just couldn't figure out, man. I was trying to think, like, what could no other heroes mean? So you actually had me stumped. I thought that no other hero would be Jesus Christ or something. Um, but yeah, you had me kind of stumped. I couldn't figure that out 100%. Ah, well, I mean, the Lord gave me that, you know what I'm saying, while I was making it, I had maybe like 81 album titles, I would wake up at night, oh man, that's a hot <laughs> album title, you know what I'm saying, yeah, 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 let's do it, one of the album titles, Gene got out, I was like, man, that's crazy, but you know, um, making this project has been a real feat, man, I've had a lot of opposition, you know, a lot of rappers will tell you when you're trying to make a project it's like everything will happen to try to go wrong and stop it and I, I really believe that this is going to do something great 
for people who listen to it, for the community, and even, you know, people outlook on Christian rap in general. I mean, I, I expect this to be a a great, impactful album all around it. Um, Music-wise, you, you say you got OMG, and on my first album, Escape From Me, I've had a lot of features on my album, you know, and uh-huh. this one... It's at a, a real minimum. Okay, because that was going to be my next question. What artists did you have featured on the project? It's, it's really people who who chases on, on the label. I got one verse from um, Artist Ready Writer, one verse from C Straight, and uh, this guy named Champ. He's from Jacksonville. Like, nobody heard of him, but he uh-huh. is cold. On it, you know, and he was really supposed to be on my first album and I gave him my word I was like man I'm gonna get you on my album it didn't happen the first one and the second one and he's on this one so I wanted to keep my word um, he, he's a great man of God and you know I just was honored he we made a, a, a smash a smash on that one so that's it dude only three rappers and the rest I got a lot of singers on it I have uh, Jay you know Chris Searcy um who else is on the project? They're going to be like, dude, I don't know. Oh, Mark Pace. I don't know if you ever heard of her. She is, she is an awesome woman of God. She, uh, I know she's on a, a tour now. She tours more than most people I know, you know. Um, who else? I think that, that may be it as far as singers. What about producers? But, um, who are you working with on this project? Pro- producers, um, Juice 2020. Um, he he's actually the guy who's over Space Cherry Films, but before he opened Space Cherry Films, he was a producer. He did stuff for Fizzle. Uh, he did some stuff for Sober Rock on Turn Your Life Up. Um, he did a lot of he did some stuff for Art Twist. Uh, another producer, the guy named C Light. He's the dude who made the beat for Don't Rap No More. He he made the beat for T Bowen. That song is going on the project. Um, okay. These cats called the Baker's Men out of Tampa. They are so cold. They, the Baker's they, Men. Baker's Men. They are cold. Um, uh, the 16-year-old prodigy named Ty Shane, he's actually Papa Son's son. And okay. uh, I, you probably know his work. He did the song Black Rose for uh, Lecrae on Church Clothes. But okay. he did one of one of one of the best beats on there, and I got G Rock. He's from Miami. He's done stuff for everybody. My like G Rock is he, he's the dude right now. He's man, that, that sounds dude. like a lot, man. How many tracks you got on the project? Um, I, it's it's 13, 14, 13, 14 Maybe I might cut it down to twelve. Like I, we're in another season, dude. Like when you know when we're coming up, people wanted to hear the whole album as a whole but we're not in that season anymore you know people really like to go and iTunes to pick out their one song and keep it moving so yep. you know it don't it don't make sense to make double albums anymore you know what I'm saying yeah man well that's good to hear man how um complete is the project are you are you near completion yeah I'm, I'm flying to Nashville on this Thursday Get it mixed and mastered at uh, Fox Mountain Studios, and I think I think I just need one more singer on one song, okay. and uh, I'm gonna have that in the next two days. So, cool man. Well, how do you think this? Pro- rap. Well, how do you think this project? I know earlier you said that you know that the 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 vocals. You know, you kind of step the lyrics up, beats up. How do you think this project really right here will compare to to OMG project? It's it's night and day. Night and day. It's night and day. I mean, one thing that I didn't do that I think a lot of artists um, messed up is when they go to the next level, they they forget about the stuff that people really liked about them. So I I got a variety of of songs and topics and things like that. But uh, I still got those South Spangers on there. You know, I got to leave two or three um, that people expect expect from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to hear another don't rap no more, another solar power, or something in that vein. 
you know, something mm-hmm. that's real hype. That when they go to the show, they you know they lose twenty pounds, all of that. So I got to have <laughs> one or, one or two of those, you know. Um, other other than that, like these lyrics stepped up a bunch. Like I I think I really pushed myself on it. Um, storytelling went up. Um, I think uh, that's been missing in in Christian rap for a minute. I think the best. Storyteller is canine. Like, dude is is cold. Like he, you know, this the proof is Bible story. You know, uh-huh. just uh, for for you to take chapters out of the Bible and make an eight minute rap on it, then you just cold. Yeah. You know, so I really and you know, and I told myself when I was making my first album, like, man, some of the coldest rappers to me can tell a story. So that's been something that I really been focusing my rhymes on to be better at and I think I, I got some good ones on this one um lyric, lyrically I think C Street is one of the best lyricists him and Ready Writer are two of the best lyricists period you know um and C Street has a killer verse on my album and he's like the only MC that ever made me rewrite a rap like four times <laughs> so I'm telling you, dude. When you when you hear C Straight rhyme on the cat song, be like, man, what, didn't he have an album come out? He, dude is is beast mode, you know. Yeah, I think the first time I heard him was when he did. I think he did the wrap up, right? Was it last year, yeah. or the year before? He did a wrap up. Yeah, he did two years in a row. Yeah, so I definitely yeah, he's definitely. Oh, dope, dude, you so. been listening? Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I pay attention, man. I think he has sent. I think it was him who did a documentary too. I think he submitted yeah. a documentary and we put it up on the site too. Wow. Okay. But yeah, man, I keep my I keep my ear to the street, see what's going on, man. Okay. Okay. Y'all 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 about it for real. <laughs> well let me ask you this too, man. What what do you consider well, I guess what type of artist do you consider yourself to be? Do you consider yourself to be like a, a crunk artist? Because you do have those tracks that you was talking about earlier and you know earlier too offline we was talking about the, the Waka Flocka comparison that they, that they were doing what kind of artist do you consider yourself to be um I would say a southern lyricist southern lyricist you know yeah because people will know me from those one or two songs but in actuality I make great albums not you know I make good singles but I, I I really can say I make great albums you know what I'm saying like to hear a whole project and see how consistent it is and, and all that other stuff like that's that's something I, I believe that was missing so I try to fill that gap like I, I still think what could I contribute and just contribute great albums and great topics and projects and things that make people think you know what I'm saying like People don't usually don't listen to albums until they have a road trip or something. So yeah. when you put a Branson album in and have a road trip, you're gonna be really surprised, you know, because you you actually gonna be able to sit and listen and be like, "Wow, dude is saying something," you know. Yeah. I can I can definitely say that, man. You do do a good job of putting the whole body of work together. Um, just by having, you know, the uh, uh, the one thing about hip hop is hip hop is great when you fuse it together with the R and B. So you were saying that you have a lot of singers. So to mesh mm-hmm. that together, and you do a great job of putting the actual music together. So I definitely give you a big up for that, man. Praise God. Yeah, man. I, I think that's that's something that um that people go back and say, okay, let me forget the single for a second and let me hear the body of work. And then. That speaks for itself, you know, and I think uh, on this No Other Heroes, like, you don't want to skip a song. You really want to see what's going on because it's, it's going to be some real, some real surprising stuff, you know. Hey man, definitely sounds good, man. Well, we right here at thirty minutes on this interview, man. I definitely didn't want to keep you that long, man. But is there anything else, man, you would like to say to the people listening, man? Anything you want to say to your supporters? Anything that we should know about Brentson that we didn't cover? Um, the Indiegogo campaign helped me reach this fifty thousand dollars. If you can give, please give. I got so much stuff that that when people give, so many great perks. You know, t-shirts, posters. I mean, I'm sending people like rappers getting stuff. So, um, 
check that out indiegogo.com backslash Brinson I got a great video on it um just got yeah, for the, the new single 3D featuring Jay uh, support all the God Chasers albums hit me up on Twitter at Brinson underscore OMG um Facebook me you know what I'm saying I, I respond to everybody I just I just love people pray for people hit me up for prayer anything like that um Praise God with everything you, you know? hey, Sounds God. good, man. Sounds good. And the new single, right? It comes out next week, right? Next week. I, I don't know which DJ is gonna break it, but it's gonna it's gonna come next week. And um, I think it's it, it's gonna really shine. Like I said, it's gonna really show people that you got something new to expect from me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, man. I gotta. Like yeah, man, I was, I was, I think I played the 10 second clip back about six times, man, trying to get a good feel for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Gotta do that. But, man, well, make sure you send it to us, man, so we can put it on the site, man, and get that promo in for you. Praise God. And, man, I just want to tell you thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to talk with you, man. I, I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the interview, man. Keep doing what you guys are doing. I just pray God's best over you, your family, the whole ministry, the the magazine. I just pray that God just give you witty ideas to blow, blow it up and, you know, put it in more people's hands and more eyes of the people so they can know that there's a place online that they can go and hear the gospel being preached and know other ministers and ministries that are available to minister to them, you know, in Jesus' name. Hey, yeah. Amen, man. What well, I receive it, man. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ.